Is the Chungnam-class frigate the next big warship for the Philippine Navy? With the Frigate Acquisition Program Phase 2 under ReHorizon 3 expected to be signed before the end of the year, many are asking if this South Korean design could be the Navy's next frontline asset. Today, let's break down what makes the Chungnam class a top contender, its similarities with the BRP Miguel Malvar class, and why it might just be the perfect fit for the Philippines. The Philippines is entering a decisive stage in its naval modernization journey. Under the adjusted ReHorizon 3, the Navy is preparing to sign a massive $600 million deal for two new frigates. This is Phase 2 of the Frigate Acquisition Program, and the stakes are high. With tensions in the West Philippine Sea growing, Manila needs a warship that is affordable, modern, and truly multi-role. One of the strongest candidates is South Korea's Chungnam-class frigate. This ship is an evolution of the Daegu class, also known as FFX Batched, which already has a proven track record with the Republic of Korea Navy. The Chungnam offers a stealthier hull design for reduced radar signature, advanced combat management systems, full multi-mission capability covering anti-air, anti-surface, and anti-submarine warfare, and all of this within a cost-efficient package that aligns with the Philippines' $600 million budget ceiling. What makes this option even more practical is its design heritage. Both the BRP Miguel Malvar class, the Navy's newest frigates, and the Chungnam class come from the same FFX Batch 2 design. This means commonality of parts and systems, which simplifies logistics, easier training for sailors and maintenance crews, and lower life cycle costs for the Philippine Navy in the long run. There's another game-changing factor. The Chungnam class design was previously offered for local production in Peru. Here in the Philippines, Hyundai Heavy Industries. Philippines is already active in Subic and recently built its first massive 100,000 plus ton civilian ship. This raises the exciting possibility that the Chungnam class could also be built locally, bringing not just ships, but also jobs, skills, and technology transfer to the country. So how does the Chungnam class stack up against our Southeast Asian neighbors? Let's compare. Indonesia's KRI Brawijaya, based on the Ivor Hutfeld design, bigger and armed with long-range air defenses, but also far more expensive and logistically demanding. Thailand's HTMS Bumibol Aduliadij, modern and capable but closer to the older Daegu baseline with fewer improvements than the Chungnam. Malaysia's Go Wind class frigates, strong in anti-submarine warfare with advanced sonar and helicopter facilities, but their program has suffered from delays and politics. Singapore's formidable class, the region's gold standard with Aster-15 missiles and advanced network systems, but they're also the priciest and are now entering midlife upgrades. In this lineup, the Chungnam class sits right in the sweet spot. Modern, capable, and affordable. For Manila, the Chungnam class strikes a balance between affordability and cutting-edge capability. It might not carry the long-range firepower of Indonesia's or Singapore's frigates, but it's more advanced and flexible than the offerings from Thailand or Malaysia. On top of that, South Korea has a solid record of delivering ships on time, as we saw with the Jose Rizal class frigates. Plus, Seoul's strong defense ties with Manila mean we can expect training support, maintenance packages, and maybe even technology transfer. In short, the Chungnam class frigate could be the perfect choice for the Philippine Navy's Frigate Acquisition Program Phase 2. It delivers the multi-mission flexibility we need, ensures logistical efficiency thanks to commonality with the BRP Miguel Malvar class, and even opens the door for local shipbuilding in Subic. If the deal is signed before the year ends, the Philippines will be taking another big step toward a modern, credible, and blue water capable navy, one that can safeguard our maritime interests and keep pace with our regional neighbors. So what do you think? Should the Philippines go for the Chungnam class? Or is there another frigate out there that would be a better fit? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more defense and modernization updates. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.